2.5 GB ports and SFP+. This is the switch, if you want to see some information about it. There are many kinds, many models, but I found this one with two SFP ports. And the transceiver goes, so it's locked now. You can see it's locked because it's in this position here, and on one of these, there is a bit strange, but you can see the contacts inside the SPF SFP port. So you put the transceiver in with the contacts facing down. The locking mechanism is in the locked position, and I just have to I have to press on it, and I cannot remove it, but if you want to remove it, you have to unlock it, pull this, and then it can come out like that. So it goes back in. I have to lock it before, and then click. It makes a click, and you know it's in. Then you remove this dust cover, and now it's ready for the fiber optic cable. I have this, this one is two meters, and it's pre-made. Pre I don't have to play around with any fiber splicing or anything like that. That would be very expensive to do. And yeah, maybe with these connectors, it's not such a big deal. This should be easier to set up new connectors. Okay, so here we have the fiber. There is one cable, which number two, and there is also number one. And on the other end, it's the same thing. As I'm looking at these two connectors, they are facing the same way, same orientation. One of them, one of them has this yellow sleeve, and the one with the yellow sleeve is number one here, and also number one there. And number two is the one without the yellow sleeve, just like that. They are in the same orientation. And that's how they look like. Try not to bend this cable too much. The fiber optic cable is sensitive to bending it, so try not to bend it at all, actually, if you can. And uh, I'll try to move this closer here, so they are. They show. So you see one and two, just like that. And now the dust cover is removed from the switch, so if it was in, I have to remove that. But also there are these caps on the actual cables, the fiber cables. Make sure you don't damage the edges here. This is the actual fiber connection. It's polished, so don't even touch it. Don't even think about touching it. And keep these terminals if you need to put them back. I just lost one of them. Fell. So if you if you need to put this back, carefully place them there on top of the cable and plug it in. Okay, so these are removed now, and I'm ready to install. First, I need to find the proper orientation for this, and you will tell from the SFP port below is flat, and above it has the space for this kind of locking levers. And make sure when you insert it that it goes exactly in the middle, exactly like that in the middle. I should make a click. 